Um, so have you had any obstacles while writing this book? Mm -hmm. or, like, was there anything that you were like, oh, oh my gosh, like, how do I do this here? How do I connect this, you know? <laughs> yeah, um, Mimi was my first original graphic novel. Before mm -hmm. then, I illustrated one where I just had to like, worry about all the drawing and everything. So it was interesting, like putting together like a whole book from start to finish. And mm -hmm. I kind of found like my rhythm with that, but it's still a process. Um, when I was coming up with the outline for the Boohoo Blahs, um, I had the idea of what I wanted to do. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I think it's gonna be a rainy day or something and Mimi's not feeling it, Mimi's not having a good day and they have to do something about it. So it went through different drafts and you know, you make something and it feels so precious to you and you're so yes. proud of it. <laughs> and so I show it to my editors. I'm like, here, this is the story. This is what I want. And they kind of like tear it apart. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not so <laughs> but it feels like that, you know, it's just, it just feels like that. So I had to go and cry to my agent a little bit and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like look what they said about my poor outline, you know? So we just have to like brainstorm it again. And then of course, it's better like the more you work on it the more you change yeah. things it's like a process you know yeah yeah absolutely it's a process. <laughs> so um you know there's that and then also just making sure that everything um fits for the age group that i'm writing for um you know just tweaking just making sure the dialogue is not too complicated not too long yeah. and everything yeah okay <laughs> all right uh, is there a favorite character within your book? I know we have the main character, but I saw there was like a couple other characters, her friends yes. within the book. Was there someone that you uh, kind of was drawn to or is it just Mimi Mimi? Is there like a um, favorite? Are there all your babies? I'm going to be like that parent that's like, no, I don't have any favorites. I love all of my kids. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, of course, I love Jory Mimi because she's just fun and and spunky yes. just full of life but i love all the characters um there's mateo and i think he's really cool and i just love that he just loves magical girl stuff yes. too i did make sure <laughs> and then like nina and her love of bugs mm -hmm. and then katie and sadie just being like those cool like mature older kids mm -hmm. you know like i feel like the mimi books are kind of like a more magical version of regrets so you know you have like angelica i never thought about that <laughs> <laughs> and then they go through all their little especially um in the second book everybody transforms everybody's playing pretend you know it's like the regrets yeah. And, you know, they're figuring out life by, you know, using their imagination. And so, you know, that's the whole point of Mimi and all her different outfits. Just she's figuring out herself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I yeah, but, thought about that. The Rugrats comparison. Yeah. That's, that's I, I, cool. I, love, I love all the kids. <laughs> <laughs>